It's Bonnie. Happy Monday. Check it out. I got a new Cole shirt this weekend. I like this one. Holiday cheer. This one's making me really happy this morning. <laughs> I'm actually way more awake now than I was an hour ago. It's actually 1024 here. And you know what woke me up this morning? Frosted Moscow Mule. I've got that burning in the other room. Whoa. The candle is strong. I don't know if it's the most relaxing candle but it's definitely got a good scent. I'm going to review that one later today. But right now, I actually last night, I started watching a couple of my old videos from Christmas 2019. And I always do a body care Christmas hits and misses. And what I want next year video is kind of a wrap up um, going into Christmas. So now the body care day is over, we're pretty much gonna wrap up the Christmas season, which is kind of sad. <laughs> I feel like this Christmas season is going really fast, but there are signs all over the place that Bath & Body Works is starting to move into some spring stuff. And I actually noticed that um, Bake Shop last year came out on like January 9th, 10th, 11th. I think I reviewed it on like the 11th. We had the strawberry pattern cake, um, the uh, margarita cupcake, and the confetti cake pop, which means that some of these spring scents are probably going to be rolling in really quickly after the new year. So I wanted to kind of talk about Christmas 2020. And it's so funny because a couple of scents, and, and this is so weird, you guys. So last year I did my video of what I want for 2020. You know what I wanted? I wanted gingerbread and I wanted coconut mint drop. Like, did someone listen to me? I'm like, that was pretty awesome. So anyway, um, I got some suggestions for Bath & Body Works this year for Christmas 2021. So first of all, um, I want to talk about the hits. This is my 2019 bit, by the way. Um, so one thing that I do suggest doing as we wrap up Christmas is to start organizing your holiday scents. I picked up this awesome tool case from... Joanne last year, if you can find something similar to this, I, I highly recommend one of these because it's one of the best ways to store your holiday collection year round because I'm going to be using these scents all year and I don't like to put them away. I like to have them um, sitting out and for some reason, even though this is holiday themed, it looks really cute in uh, in our bedroom. I just put it on a shelf and it just kind of brings a little holiday cheer in year round. So I highly suggest picking up one of these um, to store your stuff. So now that body care day is over, we've actually only got one more Saturday now until Christmas, which I'm sure is making retailers absolutely crazy because they're like, what are we going to do this last week? And last year we did have a $6 body care sale on the holiday stuff. So we could get something similar to that at Bath & Body Works um, this year where they try and like clearance off a lot of their holiday stuff before semi-annual sales. So keep an eye out. If you're still looking for gifts, there's a lot of good stuff still out there. Um, you still have a chance to, you know, shop all the holiday stuff. So I'm going to talk about hits, hits and misses this year, you guys. So this year, holiday traditions, we had, of course, the three, the big three that I call them, Twisted Peppermint, Vanilla Bean Noel, Winter Candy Apple. Winter Candy Apple was definitely the hit for me this year. I don't know why. To me, it smelled really fresh. Um, and the same with Twisted Peppermint. I like that they added that um, buttercream note back in. I thought those two were really amazing. For some odd reason, Vanilla Bean Noel was a miss this year. It was really light. I'm like, what the heck is going on with Vanilla Bean Noel this year? It just was not um, one of their uh, top scents this year. I'm hoping they fix that for next year because it's an awesome scent. Um, next up, we have a couple of returning scents. The Gingerbread Latte, which I actually wish they had brought back the Spiced gingerbread swirl. That is actually my favorite of the two. Gingerbread latte is good, but it's a little bit more like brown sugar, but I think it was a win this year, as was Christmas cookies. I think we all kind of went, where is the land of sweets? Seriously, like what happened to the land of sweets this year? 
And I'll talk about that a little bit later, but we only got Christmas cookies back, which is a definite win. Snowy Peach Berry, I think, was a dud this year. I wanted to like it, but as our only really, like, big new scent, I was not like, oh, wow, this is awesome. I want more Snowy Peach Berry. I don't think, I don't think they'll ever bring this one back. If you like it, I'd stock up. It's not the greatest. Um, the really nice surprise was Coconut Mint Drop coming back, because that one is absolutely amazing. Um, that was, a lot of people wanted that back. It's been three years since we saw Coconut Mint Drop. So that was a definite, like, yay. So that was pretty awesome. So then on the other side of the spectrum, we've got to turn this around here. I think a definite win this year was absolutely this Frosted Fable collection. The packaging on this was gorgeous. And aside from sweater weather, which I wasn't super crazy about, uh, the Winterberry Wonder, Frosted Coconut Snowball, Fresh Sparkling Snow, and Snowflakes and Cashmere were definitely like huge wins for Bath and Body Works this year. I think they did a fabulous job on this. I would love to see this collection come back um, next year, like the same design, maybe a few different scents, but this is absolutely gorgeous. I also was super impressed with A Thousand Christmas Wishes. I think this was one of the biggest wins of um, the holiday season this year. Just in packaging design, it's got that elderberry in it. I absolutely love this one. That was delightful. And then Secret Wonderland. That, you know, I don't really remember that one from years ago, but I'm really loving that one. The fact that they brought that one back at the very end of the season, that was awesome. I was super impressed. Um, then we got kind of a Christmas scent at the end of the year. Um, just a couple of the glaring omissions this year. Definitely joyful, thankful, and peaceful from that aromatherapy line. I don't think we got anything good from aromatherapy for Christmas this year. It just felt like um, that there was there's a lot missing in the aromatherapy collection. So if I grab last year. So if we're talking... Bath and Body Works Christmas 2021. A couple of things that I'd like to see. I would like to see um, a resurgence of the, the Land of Sweets. Oh my gosh, you guys. I said in my video last year that I think the Land of Sweets was literally the most magical, awesome collection that Bath and Body Works has done in a really long time. It was fabulous. We had gotten the, um, the Bright Lemon Snowdrop. Oh my gosh, you guys. This one, you know, I'm so glad I still have a lot of these left. This one smells amazing. It was the um, uh, Frosted Lemon Citrus, Marshmallow Fluff, and uh, Vanilla Bean. Fabulous, strong scent, as was the um, Santa's Blueberry Shortbread. So these were the two really hot scents from last year that they somehow need to bring back this year. I don't care if they bring them back in the spring and repackage them for some sort of... Um, you know, bake shop thing. I don't know, but we definitely need, I think, these two scents back um, next year. We have to. <laughs> the other one um, that a lot of people really liked and missed this year, Snowy Citrus Swirl, was way, way better than the Snowy Peachberry. I think they thought Snowy Peachberry would be as popular as Snowy Citrus Swirl. It wasn't. It really wasn't. Um, this isn't a horrible scent. It's just, to me, it's just not a fabulous scent. I mean, it's kind of, it kind of reminds me of Christmas Punch. Snowy Citrus Swirl had a lot of uh, really good qualities, though. I mean, this one was really good, especially in the shower gel. Um, this one is chilled tangerine, whipped marshmallow, creamy tonka bean, and fresh vanilla. I think, I think Snowy Citrus, uh, Snow, uh, Pete, <laughs> I'm not going to edit that one out. <laughs> Snowy Peachberry. I think Snowy Peachberry, it lacked um, a vanilla element that I think we all like at Christmas, and it was just too tart. Um, but Snowy Citrus Swirl would be another good one um, that they bring back next year. And then the other really glaring omission that we had was Hot Cocoa and Cream in the full size because this this one I think a lot of people were really disappointed that we didn't get hot cocoa and cream um as a whole collection I would love to see and this is what I would love to see for next year they don't even have to bring out new scents like it would be nice to see something new like I would love to see a um a, a butter rum 
eggnog body care line, but I doubt if that's going to happen. That's probably too too out there <laughs> for most people, but I would love it. <laughs> um, I would really love to see next year that they brought back the Bright Lemon Snowdrop, Santa's Blueberry Shortbread, and the entire line. Bubble Bath, Body Butter, any of the um, the extras. Oh my gosh, can you guys imagine if they had even like that shapeable soap that they brought out in Santa's Blueberry Shortbread? I would buy like 10 of those. <laughs> that would be amazing. I just really think that these two scents would sell amazingly well in the entire collection. The other thing that we really, really need next year is those full-size bubble baths. I keep saying that all the time. The one area that I think the Bath & Body Works has... Um, had it got down on is their bubble bath. I mean, this year, I don't even know if I have one sitting out here still. Those little ornament bubble baths, oh, here's one. While adorable, they're overpriced at $12.50, and they're not practical for, like, product. I mean, this is like one bath. <laughs> so, um, while they're cute and they're giftable, they're not practical to use. And, you know, we, we all want practicality here when we're taking a bath. <laughs> so, I definitely think those large 16-ounce bubble baths uh, would be something that I would love to see for Christmas 2021. Touch really quick on You're the One. So, this was a little bit of a tricky fragrance that came out for the holidays. Um, I think the most popular one that came out was that Into the Night a couple of years ago when they brought that one out. That one was fabulous. Everyone loved this one. I think You're the One is one of those scents that you either really like or you really don't like. I mean, as a reviewer, I can appreciate the beauty of this scent. It's a fabulous scent. It's high end. I think it's amazing. It's just not for me. Once again, um, my mother thinks this is the best scent that she smelled. <laughs> she absolutely loves it. So I do think that this was a hit um, for a lot of people. It just wasn't a hit for everybody. So that happens sometimes when they bring out like a perfume scent because not everyone is going to like you know, the same thing. So that's kind of how I feel about You're the One. I, I'm kind of curious if they market this for Valentine's Day because it's actually like the perfect packaging and the perfect message for Valentine's Day. So that should be interesting if there's like a resurgence of You're the One coming up um, like into like, you know, gift sets for Valentine's Day. I don't know. We shall see. But I feel like, um, I feel like this holiday season has gone really, really fast. I know we're not over yet. I know everyone's like, don't, don't rush it, Bonnie. <laughs> I'm not. Believe me, there's a lot of stuff um, that I'm absolutely enjoying from the holiday season. But um, especially when you're a YouTuber, time marches on. And I know everyone's kind of interested in seeing the new bake shop collection that's supposed to be coming in the spring. And um, I feel like, like I said, we're, we're starting to wind down Christmas a little bit, which is sad because I have so many t-shirts that like I have left to wear. <laughs> I'm going to be wearing my t-shirts until January 1st, by the way. That'll switch to Valentine's Day. <laughs> but um, let me know what you think um, you would like for next year. Put it in the comments. Who knows? You never know. Bath and Body Works might rate it. <laughs> And, um, you know, let me know if you had any, you know, clear winners or losers for Christmas uh, 2020. I'm kind of curious. I think overall it was a good year for Bath & Body Works, given that we were in a pandemic. Hopefully next year all of this is completely gone and uh, we're all hanging out in stores again without masks on very freely. So that that is my hope <laughs> for next year for uh, Christmas. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will be back with a couple more reviews later. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.